Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Yesterday, I said I would start answering questions today, but I'm not going to follow that path. The energies are very turbulent. So a moment of reflection is necessary, a moment of introspection, for each of you to find the path. A lot is happening around you. Practically, every day, problems are happening between website owners, between channels, on the internet. Lots of offense, lots of attacks, lots of arguments. I would just like you to stop and think for just a moment, who cares about all this? The channels had been coexisting harmoniously without attacks, one respecting the other's space, without either mentioning the other with criticism, and suddenly it seems like everything has turned around. Wrong things being said, direct cross-channel attacks, people using the names of beings of light, to put out wrong messages. So my brothers, I just ask you one question, who cares about all this? We are in a delicate moment, in a moment of ascension in which you are all preparing to surf the highest energies. And then what happens? Lots of negative energy circulating. I will use the words that have already been said by some that I am a being of light. Yes, I am a being of light, but as I already explained to you, I am not a simple archangel, who I mix with the angels. No, the angels do not have their importance, they do, because they are the closest to God, and those closest to you. It is the direct link between you and God, our Father or Mother God. So their importance is enormous even if some try to disqualify them. Putting myself on this cake gives me a lot of honor, because I feel important. But as I already explained some time ago, I am not a simple archangel, I am an offshoot of our father or mother God, so no one has any idea how big my strength is. Many think that my words are words spoken to the wind, that I have no strength, that this is all a big invention. Today I'm not going to do challenges, of anyone who doesn't trust my presence. No. I won't do that. I won't do it today, and I won't do it again. I'm going to put an end to all of this here. I'm just going to say one thing, whoever believes in me, doesn't need to see me, doesn't need to have proof, doesn't need anything, simply believes. So it's with this, with these, who believe in me, that I want to continue. I'm not going to stay here explaining myself, trying to do it trying to convince you of what I'm saying. I spoke and that was it. Trust whoever you want, believe whoever wants to. Doubted? It's everyone's decision. I just tell you my brothers, this will be the last time I will comment on anything about this. Yes, start to notice how everything is changing. So I just have to tell you what I have said a few times, that you have discernment. From today onwards, we will no longer recommend any channels or websites to follow. It is not reprisal, it is not fear, no. Only, this will be the great lesson for each of you. Follow the channels and see if it resonates with you or not. Why? Because some channels are taking positions that don't please everyone. Then many here ask, how does this channel stay here? Then the others say, no, but it was just a slip up. It was just a slip, and then the controversy begins. So to avoid controversy, it ended. We here will not list any more channels. Whoever wants to follow, follow. Anyone who wants to comment, comment, and everything continues as before. As I asked you that I don't want any more videos in the groups, and I was answered, let's continue like this. You can comment, there is no problem because this is also a learning experience for each of you. Learning to feel which energy is good for them, and which is not. You are ready for this. The vast majority here have already commented, I started listening and I didn't feel good. I stopped. How wonderful. So, the vast majority are already ready for this. So as of today, this was the last time I commented anything. I'm not going to comment further and I'm not even going to try to, defend myself? Defending myself from what? I repeat again, 
believe what I say if you want. If you didn't believe it, it didn't resonate, that's okay. Keep following me if you want. Here with me, on this channel, I only want those who are with me in whatever situation happens, to the detriment of anything that is said, because they know my energy. They are not just here with me through the channel, they have been with me for many years, our journey is long, then you know who I am. So if we are just a few, it's no problem. My goal was never numbers. I have already said it and I will repeat it again, if I can make one of you stop and think, I'm already extremely happy, because I know I'm going to bring about a change. So I'm not worried about numbers. In using artifices and subterfuge to gain numbers. So this is the last time you will see me commenting on anything. I'm not going to say anything about the video that is circulating, in which they attack us directly, or rather, that attack me directly, because it wasn't her the attack was directed at, it was me. Because she is not the one who carries out the procedures, and who decides what will be done, it is me. Then the attack went straight to me. I won't answer anything. Everyone chooses their path, each person chooses the energy they want to vibrate, each person chooses the energy they want to resonate. He made a choice. Follow his path. I don't have to recant, nor do I have to explain myself. Whoever is here, and is doing all the procedures, knows very well what I'm talking about, how much their lives have changed. Ah, it was upside down, yes, but if it remained upside down it is because it would have to be changed, and you changed it. So my brothers, period, I will not comment any further. We may be attacked and I say more, we will, we will still be attacked a lot. Why? Because the connection of this channel, of the channeler, with beings of light is constant, it's not just every now and then that something appears, it's every day, practically. And this is starting to get annoying, because no one has so much to talk about every day. So we are disturbing, and the attacks will increase. So beforehand, they'll say it again, that was the last time I talked about this. Whoever wants to continue, continue. Anyone who thinks I'm saying the wrong things and doesn't resonate with what I'm saying, feel free to do so. Nothing will happen. This is third party thinking. Ah, if I leave the channel the Archangel will punish me. First, that there is no punishment, second, that I am a being of light. I won't worry about punishing you, because you left the channel. The choice was yours, now the path will also be yours. I will have nothing to do with problems that arise from there. Well, continuing with the seventh procedure. I hope everyone understood. Some are laughing, but it's out of despair because of the amount of things that will have to be changed. But this is wonderful, and I tell you my brothers, when you finish cleaning everything, if you get rid of all that stuff that's cluttering up your homes, you'll say, wow, how much better everything is. My house is lighter. Wait and you will see. The subject I have to bring here today is about a controversy that arose on the internet, about which I commented something here, and which many are confused about. So yes, it's worth stopping to explain a little more. Not because I'm afraid of those who don't believe in what I said, but to remove the knot that has stuck in some people's heads. So let's go. I repeat again, the third dimension is physical, the fourth dimension is ethereal, and the fifth dimension will be physical as well, which is where you will go. It is circulating on your internet that the planet and you are already in the fourth dimension. Well, what can I say about that? Has anything in their bodies changed? Are you different? Are you feeling heavier? lighter, higher, lower, are you transparent, something like that? I do not think so. So what do I have to say, what are you? You are not a physical body with a soul, you are a soul, and in this incarnation, you are here covered in a physical garment, which resonates with the third dimension. As I already explained a few videos ago, you have several pieces. That octopus, remember? So you have lots of pieces of you in many dimensions, and some pieces that were still down there. I repeat again, your body, 
this physicality that you have is inherent to the third dimension. This physical body does not exist in another dimension, because it is fully adapted to this one. So how to explain, to say that you are all in the fourth dimension? So let's go, I repeat again that you are several pieces and that each piece is in a different dimension. Many are already practically elevated, others still haven't. What I told you, that the procedures you are doing are to bring all those pieces that were still in the lower dimensions, to the third, so that from here they would begin to rise. Do you think, think deep down, deep down, that you are all in the fourth dimension? What has changed in your world? Have any politicians changed? Has any ruler of any country changed? Did anything extraordinary happen for you to take such a high leap and leave the third dimension? Ask yourself this question. So I will tell you this, whoever has prepared, whoever is resonating with the higher dimensions, is ascending. It's as if yourself, one of those lowest pieces, is now in the fourth dimension. There are no longer any pieces of you, resonating neither in the third, nor in the second, nor in the first, because you evolved, together with Gaia and managed to reach the fourth dimension. Then many will ask. What do you mean? How is my spirit in the fourth and my body in the third? My brothers, do not try to understand everything. Your mind still doesn't absorb this kind of thing. You need to have something tangible in your hands to understand. But this is what happened. Now I ask the question again, do you think that everyone on earth has ascended to the fourth? Is duality over? Has the violence ended? Are the low vibrational feelings over? It's a question you have to answer yourself. I'm not going to give the answer. So to say that you are in fourth, in fifth, and in sixth is correct, but not your body, who is there is yourself, and you managed through evolution, through love and your hearts, to ascend to the highest dimension. There are many of you who are already on Thursday, on Friday. That's why there is a difference between you, in those who see, in those who do not see. Many people find it incredibly easy to see, because it is no longer here, it is already up there, but his human clothing is still here. The line that separates it is very thin, it is not a clear line that separates it all. So what happened is that your consciousness, your spiritual consciousness, rose. Yes, and some are very advanced, but their physical bodies are still here. So what does this change for you? You will be able to have access to many other things because when you go up in dimension, in frequency, you start to have access to things that you didn't have before, many, due to their beliefs, have always said that the fourth dimension was what you called the threshold, where all the spirits were preparing for evolution. And I won't deny that. It was a very dense, very complicated dimension, but that dimension was cleared, totally clean, before you arrived until now. So no one is living with spirits of low light, or anything like that. Many are thinking this, ah, now I'm going to have direct contact with a spirit of non-light. No, no, no. This is over. This dimension has been cleared. This was one of the processes that were carried out during this ascension, the treatment of all these souls. The fourth dimension is clean. But it is not yet a dimension like the fifth. You still experience many feelings here in Tercera, but they can also see themselves with Quintus feelings. It's like a means of passage. I think the subject is still confusing. In the minds of some, perhaps I have gotten worse rather than better. But that's what's happening. Physically, you are still here in the third dimension, because you cannot exist there. Now, your consciences, your hearts, the frequency that you are vibrating, you are already vibrating, from Wednesday onwards. And I repeat again, or rather, I ask again, do you think everyone is vibrating at this frequency? Did everyone on planet Earth go up? All? Why is the violence still so great? If everyone rose, it's because they evolved. How does everything stay the same? Try to answer this question. I'm not going to explain anything else, and from now on, I'm not going to explain myself, I'm not even going to go into detail about the things I say. 
believe whoever wants. You can tell by the tone of my voice today that I'm quite upset. Yes I am. No, let this be very clear, I am not upset by the criticism, nor the attacks. I am very upset with the way things are going on your internet, and it makes me very sad, because light workers are the ones who are our voice on the planet, they are those who are our multipliers on the planet. They are the ones who are bringing people to us. And if these same light workers start to fight among themselves, I don't think I need to say what will happen. Indeed, somehow those who don't want things to happen have found the way, and a strong path. I won't deny it. Now, I'm just going to say one thing, every light worker, who we place as a representative of our voices, doesn't mean he's perfect because he's a light worker, that he is a being ready to ascend. No, it's not. They just have missions, a little bigger than yours, but they are as human as any of you, and they make mistakes. So I just say, mistakes have consequences. So I tell you one thing, those who begin to hinder our path, in the same way that we gave them the means to grow, we have a way to stop everything. Because they won't be the ones to get in our way. We will not admit that humans, who until then were our representatives, begin to fight among themselves, causing disintegration and disharmony. Everything we give, we can take away from one moment to the next. So my brothers, don't worry. Everyone is being watched. All. Even this one here who speaks to you, she is the same as each of the others. She is not better, nor worse. It is equal to each of them, and is also observed at every moment. It's not because I'm her spiritual mentor, as you say, that I'm going to rub her head. No. If she starts to get out of the way, she loses everything. Understand my brothers, it is not punishment, it is a consequence of each person's actions because when you make a choice, the choice has consequences. So don't think that certain choices go unnoticed, that we are sleeping. We are not seeing what is happening. Today we have thousands of websites and channels spread across the world. If we have to leave 10%, which strictly speaks the truth and exudes light, and the rest is dissolved, we will do so, because with that 10% we will be able to get where we want. Now with the 90%, getting in the way, it's going to get much more difficult. So I tell you, whoever begins to hinder our path, our path to ascension will be removed from the game. Too easy. It's very simple. None of you have the strength. None. What we give, we took it out. That simple. All of you are being watched, all of the channelers and sites on this planet, because this movement is not just here, it's in many places. Indeed, the Dark Ones achieved what they always tried to achieve. We're just going to show who is stronger in this whole story. We are not joking my brothers, we're not here to play games. Follow the right path whoever wants to. Whoever gets involved in the wrong path will have its consequences. I'm not just talking about here, I'm talking about the entire planet because this is happening all over the planet. The light workers are fighting, attacking each other. Then we will have to make a decision, we will have to take action, because otherwise, soon, everything you learned will be useless, because no one will know who else to believe. So don't be surprised if suddenly a lot of people start disappearing. Don't be surprised. Because if you're thinking that we're standing still, that we're watching everything, as you like to say, from a box, you're very mistaken. We know exactly who each of you are. Of course we know. So, let everyone assume the consequences of what they are doing, then don't come and complain. I am Archangel Michael. I hope that my energy continues to resonate in the hearts of each one of you, who intimately, and who truly believe in me.